Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make Haitian stewed goat, known as sauce vien kabui. Stay tuned. Here is the list of ingredients that I'll be using. When I purchased this goat meat, it was already cut into cubes. I went ahead and trimmed any of the excess fat. I added salt, lime, as well as lime blend, and I'm going to use the lime to scrub each piece of the goat meat. After cleaning the goat meat, I'll allow it to sit in the citrus marinade for about 5 to 10 minutes before rinsing under cold water. I pour hot boiling water over the goat meat and allow it to sit for about 10 minutes before draining and moving on to the next step. To marinate the meat, I'll add my epis, ground cloves, paprika, complete seasoning, garlic powder, salt, lime, thyme, as well as habanero pepper. I'll go ahead and mix this until everything is well combined. To see a video on how I make my Haitian epis, you could click the link in the description box below. I allow the goat meat to marinate overnight in the fridge, but if you'll like to cook it the same day, allow it to marinate for at least four hours. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll notice when I'm cooking meat, there's a slim chance that I won't add oil during the cooking process because the meat renders its own oil. I allow the meat to get to room temperature before placing it on the stove on medium high I'll let the meat cook for about 10 minutes. As you can see, it started to render its own liquid. I cover and allow it to cook for an additional 10 minutes. And at the same time, I'll place another pot on the stove to start boiling my water. The goat meat has been cooking for a total of 20 minutes. I'm going to add the hot water to the meat to cover it. This will be the water that I use to cook the meat. I'll cook this for about 45 minutes to an hour on medium heat until the meat is nice and tender.
After the meat have been cooking for about 45 minutes to an hour, the meat is nice and tender. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste and allow the tomato paste to cook for about five minutes. After the tomato paste has been cooking for five minutes, I'm going to slowly add some hot water, a little bit at a time. This water is what is going to create the sauce or what some people will consider gravy. I also add in the bell peppers. I'll wait towards the end to add the onion since I like the onion to be more on the crispier side, not cooked all the way through. After adding the hot water, I allow it to boil for about five minutes. Then I'll add the sliced onions. I'll cover with the lid and turn the heat off. The residual heat will semi cook the onions, but not all the way through. Now there you have a Haitian style stewed goat known as sauce vien cabouit. When I made the stewed goat meat, I paired it with white rice as well as a dry pigeon peas bean soup known as sauce pois congo. That'll be the next video. Stay tuned. Also, if you would like to see how I make my white rice, there'll be a link in the description box below. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to share with your friends and family. And once again, thank you for stopping by at A Taste of K here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.